My name is Marcus Williams. I'm from the Bay Area, Oakland, California, currently living in Atlanta, avid golfer. Golf found me. I didn't find golf. I didn't go out, you know, saying I wanted to play golf. I was rearing by a drunk driver, August 5th, 2012. And so I was in rehab for 144 days, which usually is 21 days and you're back at home trying to figure it out. I experienced every side of rehab. And so what to do with that? You know, I couldn't just harness it and, and only um, use it for myself. I seen patients, human beings, you know, who life had, you know, it had changed overnight, just like mine did. I seen that deer in the headlight look, you know, as far as from people in their bed, not knowing what was going to happen with their life. And so you have to have accepted what happened to you because what happened to you is not who you are. And so once you accept it, then you can move, you can draw the line. I would share that, you know, with everyone that I met, whether you were in a wheelchair, whether you were a stroke survivor, whatever, whatever reason brought you into this neural hospital and um, it inspires them. They, they want to do some of the things that I've been privy to do. I hear the word inspiration a lot. I wish I can charge $5 for every time somebody told me I was inspirational. I would be rich. <laughs> they love to see me doing what I'm doing. Anything that I do, I'm enough. It's enough. And so as long as I put my heart into it, I enjoy it. If, as long as I'm having fun, that brings me joy. And so I try to share that part. Golf has taught me patience. It's taught me to forgive myself. I noticed, you know, that I got better. You know, then I went out to a, a Georgia State Golf Association clinic and that took the cake just seeing one-arm golfers, blind golfers. And so I started to meet different people of all different communities. And it was like a home for me. I can see that I'm using it to build a conversation in that region as far as to get more people to reinvent what's possible for them. And so I just want to share that through the game of golf, you know, to grow the game. I like something that challenges me. And so that's why I love golf. First round of golf, I got skunked. <laughs> So it was a Georgia State Golf Association championship that they put me in. And so I went out and I played and um, with a bunch of seated golfers who had played golf before they got injured. And I can't tell you what I scored, but <laughs> I got skunked. You know, I think I got about three good shots off the ground that whole round. For me, it was more so my introduction. You know, it made me hungry. And that kind of gave me the confidence, you know. Um, the key component for me um, has been resilience. You know, I'm a very resilient person. Um, my will is very strong. You have to have that. You know, you can have all the, all the support system. You can be in the right rehab. You can have all the stuff to help you, but you have to help yourself. And so one action after another is, is, is how I live my life. And so resilience is where it's at for me. Imagining golf, my vision is to make golf courses workable for everyone. Golf is freedom. Golf is no challenge at all. It's freedom. It's, 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 it's the freedom from life. It's a part of life, but it's the freedom from life. This is a sport that I can play the rest of my life. You know, I don't really think that I would have been the person that I am without golf. is to see more people thrive from this state and um, just want to get more people to stand up and play. I'd never swim a golf club in my life until I moved here to Georgia. What it's done for me is given me a, a sense of freedom and liberty, you know, like a, to escape everything, my pain, you know, spasms, you know, different things that would probably, you know, cause me to go deeper into a depression, you know, so golf brought me out of depression when I moved here to Georgia, so um, I love this game. <laughs>